what is going on you guys it is Mira it is Shira it is Vera it is Scorpion Red Tarot thank you guys so much for clicking this video I know that it has been a long time coming since y'all have received a pre-recorded um, reading from me um, I just something just came in my spirit today I just started tinkering around with my equipment and I said record something so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna follow my heart so thank you guys so much for um staying in touch with me through my break shout out to all my collector gatherers if you have been um one of the people that i've been doing personal readings for for the last couple what two going on what three years now if you have been one of those people and um, we've developed a relationship, you know that y'all have been in close contact with me. And I appreciate y'all's love because um, y'all don't know how much as readers, how much y'all's love, how much y'all support and how much y'all's belief in us and what we do. And you guys just um, affirming to us that the guidance that we're getting is helping you guys, that it resonates, that it's been helping you guys make certain changes in your life because y'all have no idea the things that we be going through in our life. Um, God puts his healers, God puts its messengers, God puts his earth angels through stuff, some heavy stuff sometimes because we can't teach y'all, we can't help y'all if we don't go through certain things you know what i'm saying like the only reason why we have the, the wisdom that we have is because we have gone through certain life tests and we have an anointment on us and um but we're, we're not perfect and our life isn't perfect and sometimes when you guys just give us that confirmation that what we're doing makes sense and is doing something for you it is worth way more than any price of gold uh, a lot of the people that really get on here and do what we do spiritually, we don't do it for money. You can tell the people that are doing this because it's a hustle. And you can tell it's people that is doing it because it's their life purpose and it's an anointment that God put on them. So um, if y'all see our readers, they have to take a break for um, mental health and just to realign and regroup their self. It's because it takes a lot of energy. It takes a lot out of us spiritually. Um to help and assist you guys and to guide you guys and sometimes we just need to tap out and to recharge and just live our life you know so um and then once we you know experience what we need to experience then we we get that kick like it's time to go it's time to get back it's time for me to get back to my people but um you can't keep your head in the clouds all of the time. You can stay in prayer. You can stay um, in faith. But sometimes God wants you to take what you have learned spiritually and use it on the earth and to test it. So, and y'all, forgive me because I have two African love birds and they're having it the fuck up right now. So, anyway, shout out to all my. Um, Collector gatherers, thank you so much for all of y'all like, shares, and subscribes. Y'all make sure that y'all like, share, and subscribe this video. And we're going to get into what to expect for the next three months for my collector gatherers. Um, if y'all don't mind, bow your head and pray with me to say a quick prayer. Father God, thank you so much for waking us up today. Thank you so much for delivering us. Thank you so much for giving us nourishment and free love and fresh air every day, Father God. We thank you for your spiritual guides. We thank you for our spiritual tribe, Father God. We thank you for developing and revealing our gifts and our life purpose to us, Father God. We thank you for allowing us to stay on our path, Father God. And we thank you for no matter how hard the storm is, Father God, we've learned to enjoy <laughs> the storm because we know that the sun is going to shine afterwards father god we know the divine light and the blessings that you've put on our pathway father god and we thank you for being the most miraculous the most giving the most nourishing the most uh, i don't even know what else to say to put into words to give you more grace to honor you father god but father god we thank you for being everything that you are and we thank you for believing in us and being everything that you are to us um we just want to make you proud on the way of making ourselves proud father god so please give the collective the guidance that they need to receive for the next three months and um, we thank you for all of the blessings and the lessons that you've given us in the past present and future amen amen and amen
y'all. I might have to get up in a second to let my um, bird out because I, I can tell right now he's into mischief. He is into mischief. And he about to get put out, y'all. <laughs> so, so, hold on. Because I'm about to get him right now, y'all. I'm watching. And he see me watching. And I'm about to get him. Get out. Get. Go. Hold on, y'all. Get out. No, out, out. Child, sometimes you gotta tell people this. You can't even come in here and act right. You gonna come in here, you gonna be fucking up some shit. Oh, why do I like this a message? Did some of y'all just invite someone in and then they come in not acting like a friend? Okay, and you, and you coming in, you causing mischief. You causing mischief. Okay, we ain't got time for that. We ain't got time for that. Father God, give us guidance. Actually, I feel, why do I feel like I want to do a pick a card? But I, I, I came to do a collective. I feel like I, I need to do two different readings. Anyway. All right, fuck it. Give me guidance for power one. Okay, this is what I've seen. Give me a second message for a second group. I don't know why when I seen this card, I, I heard, be careful of the webs you weave and divine timing. Patience is a virtue. Like with this card right here, with this group that is selecting this group right here. And I'm like totally going off the cuff. So please don't get mad at me because I know when I watch pick a card readings, I want them to have that shit all the way laid out. But honestly, when I clicked this camera on, I had no idea what I was going to do because this is random as fuck. But just intuitively because I didn't even read the back of this card yet. There's a storm. I don't know if it's, I heard it's a storm approaching. And in this group, you're a master weaver. Everything that you've been doing in your life has, is connected to one thing or the other for a big purpose. But for some reason, I feel like there's been a lot of windstorms. There's been a lot of things blowing into your negative woods that has caused a lot of debris in your silk webbing. And it needs to be cleansed. So the storm, number one, your storm that is coming through right now, it's a cleansing storm. And your web, I have never seen a not near one storm. It could have been a freaking hurricane. Baby, them spider webs be still there in the morning, don't it? It be looking just like this, don't it? Them spider webs is built for tough. I don't know what's in it. Baby, I don't know what's in you. But whatever is in you, baby, you were built to last. It's something in your silk. It's something in your fabric, baby. And you're smart. You're so fucking intelligent. Every single thing that you have put together thus far is for the great and better purpose of the mission that you've been trying to achieve. Do not be faced by that storm. Because guess what? The main thing that you were intuitively trying to trap. Look, and, and then why did goddamn storm come out? Why did this car come out, y'all? Why did this come out? Lightning represents shocking revelation, shocking news. It's something that's about to come out of this, baby. It's going to make everybody look up at the sky. Oh, look. It's a bird. It can fly. I don't know why. Why I feel because birds represent communication. Represents travel. And also birds represent intelligence too. I feel like people are going to be shocked and amazed by something that you've been putting together. And I ain't even doing a group one and group two. This is just me just going intuitively off of my collective group. Like we're just going to do it the way however it come out. Do not be faced by that storm. Because what you were trying to attract, if all of that debris, all that dust and all of that stuff was still on your webbing. When you got the big fish, the big bug or whatever it is, the spider was trying to lure into its web. If you had all that dust and all of that bull crap all on your webbing, 
it wouldn't have been sticky enough. That way when your prey try to pull out of your web and try to get away, they wouldn't be as stuck as you wanted them to be. So you could finish yarning them up for later. Y'all, I don't know, was it this video? Because I tried to record this earlier and I was saying something about the winter time and what does the winter represent? The winter represents hibernation. And I was saying something, I believe it was in the other video. I was saying something about pay attention to what you can accomplish right now. What you can accomplish and attract and obtain right now. And, and I feel like some of you guys are trying to do accomplish too many things at one time. What can be accomplished right now? And the rest of that shit... Wrap that shit up and put it in the deep freezer for later. You can thaw it out and you can have it later. You understand what I'm saying? Safekeeping for later. Don't be trying to, because I feel like this person, somebody may have like two or three different situations caught up all up in one web and it weakens it. You see what I'm saying? It weakens the mission. You're trying to do too many things all at one time. Think about what you can do tangibly right now and put that other shit away. Okay? Because something is major is about to happen. Okay, so let's read these cards. Okay, because I haven't yet read none of this shit. And with this, because again, I'm just going off of pictures and reading intuitively because I haven't even read the back yet. I feel like you guys feel very happy. Um... I'm hearing flowering, so I don't know if you guys have been enjoying some very beautiful uh, sexual experiences. I'm hearing flowering. Um, be careful for pregnancy. <laughs> be careful for pregnancy. I feel like, and then you just heard that there's confirmation. I feel like there's some roots growing in regards to something that is making you extremely happy. Because I'm looking right here at this root system, this foundation. This is going to be big. It's going to be extremely joyful. And it's something that's going to make you happy. And with this web, I feel like maybe you guys, even through your rough patch in your life, through your rough period, I want to say like you would still manifest in this. Even, even through the storms. It's like you, you felt like you deserved it. And I just, I keep hearing flower, flower, flowering. Growth. Beauty. It's like people want to come by and pick your flowers, but to unearth a flower is to cause its death. And you may want to admire it in its beauty, but once you cut it from its root system, it has a very small amount of time to live. So this is something... That it, admire, it admires you while you're rooted. It's like the, it, it doesn't want to unearth you. There we go. Okay, so let me read this. It says, let love be your motivation for action. I had no idea that this even had anything to say for about love. I just felt like it did. Because I'm. I promise you I have not read these cards. And also, if you guys want to support the channel, please check out my Amazon wish list because I really want some new decks. Because if I'm coming back, I need to come back like cook crack, baby. I need that new new. Okay. I need that new new. What you do do. So again, it says, let love be your motivation for action. So uh, you guys um, are trying to unearth some magical elements about yourself. Um, you guys could be feeling immersed in your beauty. You may be taking a look at your body. Your hair is growing. Even you guys may be getting thick. I definitely don't see nobody getting skinny. I think that you guys are accentuating your curves, putting little corsets on and a lot of beautiful jewelry. I feel, especially the women and the men, um... It's something about you guys are uh, growing into your look, growing into your beauty, or um, 
developing your own sense of style and it's like it's so beautiful it's like people want to unearth you it's something about you that has changed and I want to say it's like your environment has almost been uplifted because of the way that you have um, metamorph. So it's like everything around you had to grow with you. Everything around you had to beautify with you. That's just like you being in the neighborhood and then you see your neighbor on your block go do some beautification. They just did some new landscaping and they added on an addition and then they put some pillars in front of the house. It's like them motherfuckers look rich and every other goddamn house on the block look raggedy, outdated, and dilapidated. I'll be damned if I'm going to be sitting up there looking old school and all of this stuff so it's something about you and a level of beautification that you've done to yourself that made a lot of people around you realize that they need to do some updating let love be your motivation for action so maybe your motivation for wanting to beautify do some more beautification around you and your environment and wanting to attract love um not Love and beautification. What does this say? It says. The distinguish. Wait. Distinguish the importance. Of your inner spiritual work. From your outer success. Distinguish the importance. Of your inner. Spiritual work. From your outer success. So what this is basically telling me. With these two things is. It's like. Inside everything, your whole personification for who you are and what you've been trying to achieve has grown. It has thrived and it's flowering. But on the outside, it may be still mm, not the perfect situation, not the perfect environment, not the per. It's like you're still trying to lure in. You're still trying to attract what it is that you feel that you need. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. The inside of you spiritually and where you have come from versus where you're going and you being in the middle stage internally, it's a big difference. But externally, your life right now may not be showing the growth the way that you want it to, but you are still, you are still attracting what it is that you feel that you need regardless of the storms. That are going on right now. So let's see. And, I, and I'm sorry I have to say this. I heard. Um, I heard any less crying. I don't even talk like that. Any less crying. Because that don't even sound like proper diction. Um, I just hear any less crying anymore. That makes no. I don't freaking talk like that I don't talk like anyway so let me hear let me see what this says it says avoid hateful thoughts as they are just as hurtful as physically striking someone so maybe that's what they're saying any less crying so maybe if you paid attention to if you've been doing any less crying there we go Pay attention to if you've been doing any less crying recently since you've been doing this inward beautification. And you've been allowing love, like your own self-love and your own desire to attract the right type of love. Ever since that you've been doing this internal work and you've been feeling yourself grow and you've been feeling big. Hold on. What, hold on. <laughs> What's that man say? Think bigger, bitch. Think big. You gotta think bigger, bitch. You know? <laughs> Since you've been thinking bigger, has there been any less tears? Has there been, you know what I'm saying? Because I feel like it has. I really feel like it has because the more that you control your thoughts in your inner being and what you got going on inside, because I said earlier, you can see the growth inside of you, like the outside world. Like certain shit, like maybe in your financial situation, maybe in your romantic situation, maybe in your family's dynamic, things may still be the same. 
but internally, you know, there are less tears, there's less pain, there's less turmoil, there's less insecurity because you've regained control of your thoughts. And it's like even when you do have like negative thoughts and, and things like, uh, mm, I apply for something, I'm not going to get that job. Like, you know, I feel like, you know, I'm underqualified. Like, check your thoughts. Do you know every time I've ever did a job search? And I'm not even going to lie. As long as I feel like I'm anywhere level qualified for the position, I apply for that shit. I don't give a damn if it's a manager's position, if it's an assistant position. I apply for it all. As long as I have the skills that I apply for it all. And yeah, there's some positions that I apply for that I feel like it's a little bit outside of my scope of my range. And I might not be qualified for it. But God damn it, why are those always the jobs I end up getting? I kid you not. And for some reason, them people be seeing something in me that I don't even be seeing in myself. And then when I get in them jobs, I'm actually fucking good at it. Even though I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. I faked it until I made it. But guess what? I already made it. Because I was already in the door. Child, listen to me. Listen to me, Tony. So let's see. Give me two uh, numero numero. Numerology. I can't say word. Give me two numerology numbers for my collective. Give me two numbers. Give me two numbers for my collective right now. Ooh. And you and of course you got effort. Put in that effort. Be grounded. And again, it's solar plexus. Knowing what you want. That willpower, that control over yourself and others, your beliefs. Going over the details, being constructive. You know? Perfection. Alright? So let's see. Let me get one more. You got 66 healing. That's that positive self-talk. That's that throat chakra right there. That is that throat chakra. Open and clear communications. Understanding your feelings and your thoughts. Like speaking certain things up into reality you know what i'm saying talking certain things into existence like seriously believing it and it's like with the effort in the healing part it's not even that your belief system and you talking and speaking certain things into your life because there's certain things that you just don't want to deal with anymore and there's certain things that you want to change about yourself so again it starts with that self-talk because if I don't believe it, won't nobody believe that shit. And it actually physically making an effort and being grounded and knowing who you are and what the fuck you want to do. Like, those are two totally different things. That's why I'm trying to tell you. Like, internally, you see this flowering. Outside right now, baby, God is changing your landscape. And that's what you don't even understand. It may look like it's a storm. It may look like it's the worst thing on earth going. Yeah, right now, to the people on the outside looking in and don't understand how God moves baby he washed away all that debris all of that foolishness and you gonna wake up in complete freaking paradise listen under the deck personal growth intuition crown chakra please stop playing with god please stop and that is the number seven baby that is the number of withdrawal of contemplation of understanding knowledge wisdom spirituality and analysis pay attention Thoroughly, so you can really understand what God is doing. He ain't doing it to you. He's doing it through you, for you, okay? He is doing it through you, okay? Let's see what other guidance we got going on here for the collective. What we got going on here? What's coming up in the next three months? Give me four cards, please. What's going on? What's coming up in three months? Alright, so what we got? We got the trapped in fear in the reverse. So we got the eight of swords in the reverse. And then what is this? We got material and spiritual prosperity in the reverse as well. But this, this is coming out in the reverse. Okay, it don't matter. Because I got it. It's like... This is like somebody um, coming out of some level of fear and worried about receiving some type of assistance, receiving some type of help. It's like instead of me worrying if 
certain people are going to help me and certain people are going to come to my aid if um, I put in this assistance application, if they will accept it. It's some way that you are going to figure out a way out of whatever situation by yourself where you don't need help from anybody at all. Because I feel like somehow if you allow yourself to get trapped in fear and don't fight and find a way out on your own accord and you end up accepting help from other people, I feel like you may regret it later because someone may throw it back up in your face. Like I feel like it's going to be brought back up. And I have a very keen sense of understanding that, that this group knows how to take care of themselves. And you can figure a way out of whatever situation it is that you're in. Because again, I'm trying to tell y'all, y'all are going through something right now. Y'all are going through something right now and it's for your personal growth. And that's what God... Look, avoid hateful thoughts as they are just as hurtful as physically striking someone. So... That's why this is in the reverse because I don't see you feeling as trapped and um, it's, it's like you couldn't move. It's like you couldn't figure out a way out of a situation like whatever was about to happen. Like it was avoidable. It was like you just had to deal with it. No, you don't. I feel like if you would have stopped trying to look for other people to help you and calm down for a second. And look within. All of the answers is inside. Like I, this six of pentacles in reverse. I don't think that you need to accept help from anybody. You got the zero. The fool. New beginnings. I promise you. You walking into. You are at ground zero right now. It is something that is being created from you for. From scratch. From scratch. So you might. Be stepping into, and then you got the patience in the reverse. So this is the temperance in the reverse. Rely on your faith right now. I believe this, um, the next three months you may be stepping into a phase of your life that is completely new where you might not recognize anything. And again, I feel like people may not recognize you. Because you're different internally. And everything that you've been experiencing on the outside in the physical world, I feel like it's being turned upside down right now in effort to make you change and do certain levels of beautification within yourself so that you can attract what you truly deserve. Because y'all got to think about the other cards when we were talking about earlier. And it's something that has happened that is making you, it, it is happened, it's happened on purpose to make you pick up up and kick up the gear and put more effort it was to put the fire up under your motherfucking ass so you could really figure out what you wanted to do hmm. it's like you had to do that self-talk and that reassurance to yourself because it's like someone was looking for someone else to give them the answers and it's like that shit is right there in your ass it's, it's in you give me guidance from perspective why am I getting a hangman here I feel like you guys are um, being secluded it's like you guys are being left in the dark right now and certain things with this my, my collective group you guys are being left in the dark God truly I feel like you already know the blessings because you, you've been talking it into existence it's something that you've been talking into existence. You guys keep, keep saying, Father God, I'm going to be a millionaire. I know I'm going to be a millionaire. I just don't know how it's going to happen. And you end up being a millionaire, you guys. But let's say if the way that you ended up being a millionaire is because you lost your job. And everything got stripped away from you. And you had to struggle for a little while. But you end up winning a fucking lawsuit, which got you sitting on... 11 million dollars 11 million dollars maybe to a millionaire may not sound like a lot but to someone that's a hundred air that's a thousand air that's a lot of fucking money you understand what i'm saying so in the true big sense of things in the whole universe the planet earth may in, in true perspective just be a speck of dirt 
in the whole galaxy. So to something that you may think or other people may be looking at is like, oh, this person is in a dark hole. They're in the black or they, they're in a dark space in their life. They're not looking at the bigger picture, the perspective of what God is trying to show you. That incident that you just went through is a speck of dirt on the broad, grand scheme of your whole fucking life. So what you fell down, so what you lost a job, so so what you had a failed relationship or marriage, so what you had a car that got repossessed, so what you you um you got an eviction notice, but then God fucking pulled shit together where you ain't get evicted at all, and actually uh, 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 three months later you ended up giving them a a, a notice that you were about to terminate the agreement because you about to buy your own shit. Shit, you about to buy an apartment building because you got $11 million right now because your whole fucking circumstances done change. You don't even need that shit no more. So do you understand what I'm saying? It's like taking a setback for a major setup. You are being put in the black right now because it's not meant for you to understand how it's going to happen. Just know that shit is about to happen. And God may put you through some shit. Look, you said that you wanted it. God ain't tell you how he was going to give it to you. Just know it's written and it shall be done. Look at the bigger perspective. The earth is a speck of dust compared to the whole universe, baby. This little incident ain't shit. Okay? It's just a storm. If there were never storms, nothing would ever grow. Landscapes would never be transformed. We would wake up every day and see the same shit every motherfucking day without change. You need change. Look at the bigger perspective. This says, none of this matters. Zoom out. Common ground. And I ain't even read the card. But none of this shit that's going on right now, none of this shit matters in the grand scheme of things. Come on, Jesus. Father God, give us one more message for my collective group. Come on, Father God. Because you were doing me today. It says jump in. Then I, bitch, it's time to get active. Hold on. How Krishan Rock? We got to go because it's about to get active. <laughs> Shout out to Krishan. <laughs> we got to go because it's about to get motherfucking active, bitch. Look. Think big, bitch. Think big, bitch. God damn it. It says jump in. What does it say? A, a, a dorm. A dormed in energy adventure. Say yes to change. Listen, y'all. Y'all know I got fucking third grade reading problems. Look, y'all look. Look, look I done told y'all. I done told y'all we had to share books back in D.C. back in the day. Look, I got to Listen. Listen. I don't, know, I don't know how to pronounce that. I don't know how to say that right. I hope I said it right. But listen, look, <laughs> look, if you can enunciate that for me better, please do it. Okay. But anyway, look at the bigger perspective. Jump in and just receive the bigger picture right now. All right. This is my Scorpio deck. What is this deck called? This is my favorite deck. This deck is called the Scorpion C deck. I love this deck. I freaking love this deck. And it's not nothing fancy about it because, you know, I think us Scorpios, we not, we don't do too much. We like to keep it simple. You know what I'm saying? We just like to keep it simple. You know? And I like, it's like very common earth tones in this deck. Um... The background is brown. So with this being said, look up you guys, um, you guys that are watching this video. And again, thank you guys for watching this video. And if you guys have got this far in the video, please put some stars down in the chat. Um, look up the spiritual meaning behind the color brown. Actually, I'm about to do it right now. Hold on. Because I feel like that's a message. Wait. Okay.
Okay, it says brown means Bitch, I ain't asked for that. Trying to tell me chakra meanings and stuff. Okay, so it says brown is often seen as a solid, much like earth. And it's a color often associated um, with resilience, dependability, security, and safety. Feelings of loneliness, sadness, and isolation can also um, be associated with this color. In large quantities, it could seem vast, stark, or empty. And then it's okay. Yeah, I mean, that totally makes so much sense because you guys are still trying to lure. It's like you guys feel like there's a void or something that you guys are trying to feel, and something that you guys are trying to find, and something that you guys are trying to acquire. Um, into whereas, though, yes, um, the color brown does mean. Stability, being stable and grounded, and and um, I even look at it as soil. It can very much so mean that isolation and all that stuff like that, because I feel like you guys are having to deal with this on your own. But that's why I picked this deck, the Scorpion Seed deck, because what it is what your emotions, your emotions. So let's see what closing guidance you got the ace of wands in the reverse so i'm just hearing like i feel like this reading is to help you guys believe in yourself again because there's a lot of people out there that i want to say they fucking love your energy and i'm gonna say like you ain't been yourself i want you to pick yourself back up and get back to you um it's something that is going to come and again, you see all that water around that horse or something? I feel like it's going to be. It's like something that's going to come and it's going to inspire a floodgate of emotion. I want to say even maybe like sexual intimacy. I feel like you guys have not had sex in a long time. So it's like. I want to say lack of moisture. Like you guys feel like it's dry. Like it's like. Something is unfulfilling or something is undesirable in life. And I feel like you guys, I want to say it's like kind of wake up out of your slumber a little bit. And it's something that needs to happen. I don't know if it's intimacy. Let me see. Because I feel like as soon as you wake up. And you get out of this trance and this lethargic feeling. Because it's just like lethargic. It's like laziness. It's like I have no effort. I have no energy to get up and get myself going. Um, I want to feel like you guys are famished. I don't know if there's someone that... Um, I'm feeling like I have lack of water. Lack of nourishment. I want, I want it's like someone's thirsty. Not thirsty in a... Um, like a pressed ass bitch way, but I feel like it's somebody that it's lacking an element. And y'all know the four elements, um, wind, earth, fire, water, right? It's something lacking in an element and it may be water. So that's like some type of emotional determination. It's like dry. Because I'm like, it didn't have anything to do with sex. It's like your emotional determination to like be a go-getter. I want to say like that shit has dried up for some reason. It's like you don't know how to pick yourself up off of the ground. What is this? The King of Cups. And a night owl. So, <laughs> mm, I want to say I feel like you guys are going to make a big splash and uh, make a, a lot of noise in the nighttime. I feel like you guys might be changing. What is this saying? 
What is that thing flashing about? What the fuck does that mean? I have no idea what that little flashing thing means. Four minutes. I only got four minutes. Why would I only have four minutes? I feel like you guys um, are being asked to change what you're being known for. I feel like you guys are uh, being known for something different. And, uh, and, and um, I feel like you guys talk a lot. But it has something to do with the nighttime being a night owl. Um, and reassuring people. It's like you fill people's cups in the nighttime. You know what I'm saying? It's like you're giving people something. And some level of emotional security or whatever. But. And I want to say people have been keeping a watchful eye over you. Because it's like. They listen to you. It's like they want something for you. It's like they're waiting for you to say something or to do something again. But it's like, I want to say, like, you've been taking a long time. It's like your page has been dry or something like that. It's like someone, it's like people need your love. They need your reassurance. They need your communication. Give me guidance because apparently this shit about to cut off in three minutes. And I do not know why. What is this? You got the nine of coins. So this is personal success. Wasn't I just saying somebody was hungry or they was thirsty because it's like they didn't have enough water. They didn't have enough of a certain element to wake them up and make them want to start doing something again. And honestly, maybe you need to think about changing the time frame when you used to do whatever this is, maybe whatever it is that you used to be known in the daytime, maybe you need to become a night owl. Maybe you used to work daytime hours, now you're going to be known for working or doing something in the night. But you're going to be extremely successful. You're going to eat well. You're going to see a lot of prosperity around you. I just feel like shit has been dry for you right now. And you need to pay attention to what is out there. These storms ain't coming around for nothing. They ain't happening to you. It's happening for you and through you. Through you. All this transformation is going to help you transform other people. Because again, like I said, it's something about you filling people's cups. You give people reassurance. You make people look at their self. You give people confidence. There's something about the communication and things that you say. And it's like, thank God that you're a night owl now. Because I feel like that's the community that you need to touch. Not the daytime people. It's the freaks that come out at night. Those are the people that need your help. So I don't let me stop. <laughs> but I just feel like you're going to eat well. And you're going to rest well. And you're going to have a safe haven for yourself. The only way you'll be able to take care of yourself and for others. So continue to think about this beautification. And again, it's something about... You doing it for love itself, love for yourself, and because you want to attract love. It's some change that you're doing because you want true love in your life and love for yourself that's going to change your whole fucking world, baby. Continue to set your trend and make your mark. I love y'all. Y'all love yourself. Hit that like button. Y'all make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.